So as we get back into the new year and routine and uh, work and school prepare, preparation anyway, uh, we, we're thinking about routine and getting back into our routines and, and what we need to do to set ourselves up for success. Um, sleep being a major part of that referenced in uh, this week's uh, director's notes and uh, the importance of sleep, but maybe thinking about it in a little different way. A bit more flexibly, perhaps. Yeah. Yes, I was really interested to come across um, an article that was produced by the BBC, and it talks about sleep as we now conceptualise how it should be, which is seven to nine hours, go to bed, have fluctuating um, episodes of deeper sleep or lighter sleep, but really the idea that sleep is a block of our time. This article challenged that as the way that perhaps uh, humans haven't always done it that way. And it made me think about how sometimes our sleep disturbance is because we get worried that we're not sleeping in the right way. And the, the more you worry, the more you worry. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> like sometimes there are really legitimate reasons to worry. Sure. Like if you have a family member who's got COVID or you're facing financial distress, of course you're going to have trouble sleeping and that's a different order of event. But we do know there is a group of people who become worried about the fact that they're not doing their sleep right. Mm -hmm. And then that anxiety is self-perpetuating. And this um, paper talked about the idea that traditionally um, in the Middle Ages, we had two-phase sleep. And this is of course before electric lights. Mm -hmm. And what would happen is people would go to bed sometime between nine and 11 p.m. They'd sleep for a couple of hours. And then they may wake at some time like 11 o'clock when some of us are only just going to bed. Mm -hmm. And that period of time was used for all sorts of things. So there's a lovely picture in this article of people just lying around chatting and catching up with each other. Um, some people who I guess were very busy would get up and do chores. There was a, a record of some man who got up and started his brewing at that time of the night. It made me think about getting up and starting your sourdough at you know, 11 o'clock at night, sure. that's something we might want it's to do. It's a bit like that idea, isn't it, of um, having that real good sleep yep. to then be able to be more productive and yeah. it's like grabbing hold of yeah. that. Yeah, and they mm. talked about the fact that after two hours sleep, uh, if you've had a very physically demanding job, you're then refreshed enough to have a, make love with your partner, uh, chat to people, do a few chores, and then after a couple of hours, people then go back to bed again mm -hmm. and they'd sleep till morning, whenever that might be. And this was perfectly ordinary. And apparently there's evidence that this didn't just happen in Britain, it happened in a number of European countries um, and beyond that. So I think it raises the question of getting anxious about a problem, which may not actually be a problem, and maybe we can start thinking about doing things in the middle of the night. And I think it also made me think about um, a strategy for sleep difficulties that Jay Haley and Chloe Madanas um, devised. They called it ordeal therapy, which makes it sound rather unpleasant. And the idea was that if you couldn't sleep um, within 15 minutes, you were to get up and do a chore that was not particularly stimulating, but was something you needed to do. Mm -hmm. um, and actually that fits very well with this idea it of two-phase sleep. That's productivity. And then you go to bed knowing your undies are tidy yeah. or your yeah. cu um, cupboard, your brewing has started mm -hmm. or whatever it happens to be. Mm -hmm. But it was just an interesting um, way of thinking about something that we can get very anxious and distressed about and maybe the anxiety and distress about something that actually isn't the problem creates the problem. Yeah, And absolutely. we see that with all sorts of problems. We do we? indeed. Yeah. So there we go. For more information on lots of things about problems uh, can be found on our Bower Knowledge Portal.